Hi children, welcome to Educa. Today we are with a new video from Grade 9 Science. This is 11th lesson, Density. Our first subtopic is Introduction to Density. In a glass of drinking water contains a small volume of water and the mass of it is also small. In a well, there is a large volume of water and the mass of it is also large. But when a reservoir is considered, the volume of water is contained is massive and the mass of it is also massive. Through the volume of substance and its mass differ, there is a common relationship between those two. So we have to find out this by using measuring cylinders of varied capacities 100 milliliter, 250 milliliter and 500 milliliter. We need 500 milliliter beaker and triple beam balance and port here. Let's see what we have to do. Adjust the triple beam balance to the its zero mark. Measure the mass of clean and dry 500 milliliter empty beaker using this balance. Measure 100 milliliter of water into the beaker using 100 milliliter measuring cylinder. Measure the mass of beaker with the water. Measure the mass of 250 milliliter and 500 milliliter of water separately using the same beaker. Divide the mass of water by its volume and find the ratio in each instance above. Using the readings and calculation you obtain, you have to fill a table. In here, you have to consider that 1 milliliter is equal 1 cubic centimeter. First of all, you have to find out the mass of the empty beaker. This is the table which you have to enter your calculation. According to this activity, it is clear that ratio of mass of water to its volume is constant through the volume taken differs. This constant value is specific for water and this value is known as the density. There is a formula to find out the density. We have to divide mass by the volume. Density can be explained as the ratio between mass and volume. The density can be defined as follows. The mass per unit volume of a substance is known as the density of that substance. Density, mass, volume are symbolized by rho, m and v respectively. For the formula for density is rho equals m divided by v. Let's see units of density. Density formula is mass divided by volume. Mass we are measuring by using gram. Volume is taken cubic centimeter, so we have to divide gram by cubic centimeter. So, unit is gram per cubic centimeter. But according to the standard international units, mass is measured in kilogram and volume is measured by cubic meter. So, standard units for density is taken by dividing the standard unit of mass by the standard unit of volume. So, we have to divide kilogram by cubic meter. The answer is kilogram per cubic meter. The standard unit of density is kilogram per cubic meter. Let's compare the densities of several substances. Here you need a measuring cylinder of 250 milliliter, a beaker of 250 milliliter, enough water, coconut oil, kerosene, concentrated salt solution, a triple beam balance. Let's see what we have to do here. Clean and dry the beaker of 250 milliliter and measure the mass of it is using triple beam balance. Measure 250 milliliter of water by using measuring cylinder of 250 milliliter. Then put into the beaker. Measure the mass of beaker with the water. Remove the water and measure the 250 milliliter of concentrated salt solution. Then put into the beaker. Measure the mass of beaker with the salt solution. Same way. Measure 250 milliliter of coconut oil and kerosene separately into the same beaker and measure their masses. Note that beaker and the measuring cylinder should be well cleaned and dried before the measuring coconut oil and kerosene. Tabulate your readings and work out calculation in this table. So you have to find out the mass of empty beaker. Then you have to enter the calculation to this table. According to this activity, it can be seen that ratio of mass to its volume is different for different substances. So their volumes are equal. Density of various substances differ from each other. 
hidden specific property for the respective substance. Substance can be identified by the volume of their density. This is common for solid as well as for liquid. Therefore, density is vital physical quantity of substance. There are some problems regarding to the density. The first one is mass of 2 cubic meter of water is 2000 kilogram. Calculate the density of water. We have to take the formula of density. This is for the question. The second one is the mass of solution which has the density of 800 kilogram per cubic meter is 200 kilogram. What is the volume of it? So in here you have to get a subject as the volume. After that you can solve the problem. Our next subtopic is hydrometers. If you want to find out the density of liquid, you can measure the volume and mass of it and calculate the density as you have done in previous activities. But it is a time consuming difficult process. Therefore, to measure the density of liquid easily, you have to use the equipment known as the hydrometer. This figure shows you several types of hydrometers. Hydrometer is made of thin glass tube, the lower part of which is blow and form a bulb. This bulb is filled with lead shots to that part of the tube is submerged and float vertically in the liquid. When the hydrometer is partially immersed in floating in a liquid, the length of the immersed part of depend on the density of liquid. It sinks less in, less in high density liquids and more in low density liquids. The upper tubular part of the hydrometer is calibrated in such a way to, that density can be really read, read by the depth it immerses. This figure shows you some hydrometers made to float in three different liquids. Figure B shows you its float in water. Immerse high of the density is less in liquid A than in water. It indicates that density of liquid A is higher than that of water. Immerse in length of the hydrometer is more in liquid C than the water. So that density of liquid C is lower than that of water. To know about the densities of some common liquids by using hydrometer, we need three tall vessels measuring cylinders or lower part of plastic bottles, water kerosene, coconut oil and hydrometers. Let's see what we have to do in here. Put water kerosene and coconut oil into the three vessels. Dip the hydrometer in each liquid and take out the reading of density. Compare your values in this table. This is the table liquid and their densities. There are some liquid mercury, glycerin, milk, seawater like that. Observe the table well. A simple hydrometer can be easily made by using drinking straw. Let's make it. We need a drinking straw, candle, several iron balls of the diameter to 3 mm, a measuring cylinder, 250 ml of coconut oil, 250 ml of concentrated salt solution and water. Let's see the uses of hydrometers. Cow's milk contains approximately 90% of water. Other than water, it contains lipid, proteins, etc. Part of the contribution of density of other constituents, density of milk is slightly higher than that water. Amount of water in milk can be determined by measuring the density of it. Using a hydrometer, this measurement can be used to decide whether water is added to milk. Hydrometers which are specially made to measure the density of milk are known as lactometers. Hydrometers are also used to measure the percentage of alcohol in alcoholic drinks like wine and beer. Those are known as alcohol meters. These alcoholic 
drinks also contains high percentage of water. Therefore, the density of alcoholic drinks are slightly different from the density of water. The density of acid changes according to the changes in lead acid batteries used in vehicle. Therefore, the condition of batteries can be examined by measuring the density in a hydrometer. Soil hydrometer is used to determine the composition of soil sample. It can be contoured by dissolving constant mass of soil in a constant volume of water to calculate the density of soil solution. Sea water contains high amount of salt disolinity. There is a special hydrometer called sea water hydrometer used to measure the density of sea water. Due to high concentration of salt, the density of sea water is higher than normal fresh water. Composition of rubber is also measured by special hydrometer known as metrolab. This is what we have to learn now as the 11th lesson density. Let's meet with a new video. Thank you.